Welcome. Welcome to Celebrate Aging. I'm Vicki Marthaler, the chaplain at Emanuel Nursing Home, and I'm going to spend the next 10 minutes with you, uh, reminding you that you are a person of value and of worth, and here at Emanuel, we are living every minute to the fullest. But I'd like to just be a little serious today. I know that sometimes uh, I get to interview fun people and we laugh and talk about things and that's all well and good. But as you know, life is a balance. And there are sometimes opportunities to talk about serious things, things that are important and that need to be talked about. And sometimes it's hard to talk about the serious things. I was reflecting on that this morning after my devotions and I always like to look at the paper to see what's going on in the world before I leave for the day and of course maybe like many of you I always look on the obituary page just to see who has gone on to glory. And I couldn't help but notice that so many times now there are people who have died and the first paragraph in their obituary is that uh, so-and-so surrounded by family and friends ended their life, that their life was completed. And I thought, I wish that for everyone. I wish that at the time of the close of your life, when your life is complete, that you too can be surrounded by family and friends and that it can be a peaceful crossing where you're comfortable and where you're surrounded by love. And unfortunately, in this broken world, that doesn't happen for everyone. We know that there are horrific accidents, uh, sad circumstances. But if we can, if it's in our power, we do want to work towards that time when we can be gathered with our family and friends about us to give them a blessing and a, they can thank us for our lives lived and, and we can leave in peace. Well, Emmanuel has designed and written and published a little book that I would like you to be aware of. It's a book about code status. And if you've ever had the opportunity, shall I say, to go to the hospital, uh, one of the first things they ask is, do you have a health care directive? Are you a DNR, a do not resuscitate, or are you a full code? And then they talk about what those two things are and oftentimes it's hard to know how to answer it and we have questions and here at Emmanuel too when a person comes to live at Emmanuel we too ask are you a full code or are you a DNR do not resuscitate and again there can be questions and sometimes we're just not sure what we want for ourselves and so this little book is one way to talk with the professionals, to talk with your family, and to think for yourself, what do I want for my life? And so we call it an invitation to talk, an invitation to talk about something that's important, something that we all need to consider so that our family and friends can know our thoughts and wishes. Probably one of the most confusing things about a the difference between DNR and um, the full code. We've taken in the very middle of the book, I think it's on pages four and five, right in the middle, it's a very nice and clear description of some of those wonderings about what is the difference between a full code and a DNR. Because we do get asked from time and time, well, if I'm a DNR and I get pneumonia, then I, you won't give me any medicine. And that's not true. Or what if I'm DNR and I fall and break my hip and then the doctor won't treat me? That's not true. So I want to go down the difference between full code and DNR so that it can be clear in your mind and we can address some of these questions. <clears throat> A full code it says, treats pneumonia with medications and treatment. If that is your desire, you certainly can be treated with medications and treatment if you have pneumonia under a full code. Also, if you are a DNR, 
you can certainly be treated with medications and procedures. So pneumonia is treated for both, a full code and a DNR. How about congestive heart failure? Yes, if you are a full code or if you are a DNR, you will be treated for congestive heart failure. Whatever the medication or the procedure is, you, that can be availed to you. What about if you have a bladder infection or a UTI? Full code or DNR, you can receive medication and treatment to overcome that infection. There is no difference. What about oxygen for shortness of breath? Yes, if you are a DNR as well as a full code, you certainly can have oxygen for shortness of breath. That is a comfort measure and that would never be denied you. Provides nebulizer treatments. A nebulizer treatment is for the people who have trouble with their breathing, maybe a, a lung condition or something, and they put that little mask and you get breathe-in medicine. That certainly is available if you are a full code and if you are a DNR. What about surgeries for broken bones? Well, absolutely. Whether you are a DNR or a full code, a doctor would certainly treat you if you have a broken bone. That, again, makes no difference what your status is. You would be treated for that. What about surgeries for medical treatments? Well, if you are able to withstand a surgery, if you've got a gallbladder or an appendicitis and you know all those things that can happen, you certainly would be considered for surgery, even if you are a DNR. Uh, of course, other things might be have to take into consideration, you know, your heart and uh, age and strength and all those other things, but just because you are a DNR does not mean you could not have surgery. Treatment with x-rays, MRIs, and ultrasounds, those would be available to you whether you are a full code or a DNR. Chemo and radiation treatment for cancer. Yes, you can receive that if you are a DNR and a full code. The bottom line is the difference between the two is that in a full code, if your heart stops, then CPR will be administered. That includes pounding on the chest, calling 911, and being transported to the hospital, and of course the breathing, the compressions and the breathing. All of that is done if you are a full code. If you are a DNR and your heart stops, then you will be comforted by your family and friends, by those about you, that we will hold your hand, that we will make sure you're as comfortable as possible, and we will walk you home. So that is the only difference between a full code and a DNR. It's that in the event that your heart stops, if you are a full code, all the commotion and the chaos will ensue. And if you are a DNR, there will be that peaceful crossing. That's the difference. And that's what you need to think about and talk about with your family and friends and with your doctor. And as always, it's not written in stone. You can uh, continue to think about that and pray about that and see how it would be that you would like to complete your life if you had something to say about it. This book is available to anyone who would like to look at it. We also have frequently asked questions in the back and just a little bit more information. It's free and it's here at Emmanuel. If you would like to receive one of these books to look at it, to bring it with to your next family gathering and talk about it with your family. We'd love to make sure that you have a copy. So uh, Vicki Marthaler at Emanuel Home, give us a call, 847-4486. We'd be happy to mail one out to you. We'd also, uh, you can come right to the office and we could give you a copy. It's an invitation to talk about code status. One of those times of life where it's kind of serious but it's also very good. This is Vicki Marthaler wishing you a wonderful day and remember, celebrate.